told him um, yeah. a little more than a month ago that there was somebody that I was having feelings for and I wanted to be honest with him and I, I said we want to be appropriate and we want to be respectful um, mm -hmm. but this is this is what's going on and and um, of course you know I'm bawling my head off and and he says I am so happy for you. Really? I am so happy that you have found someone. And of course, I lose it, you know, because right. I think how how can he be so gracious, you know? So I went over and let him put his arm around me, which is kind of a rare occurrence. And we just sat there and cried. And then he said, it's a typical of our of our life. He says, "Well, it's bad timing, <laughs> but you know, that's kind of the way we do things. Mm -hmm. We do things backwards yeah. a lot of times, but." Um, <laughs> But he was very genuinely happy for me and has given me his blessing, you know, wow. but. Wow. I don't know. Yeah. Wow. Why? Wow. wow. Like, like I said before, we, we, you know, it's, it's come, we got to the point in our life where we can put about stuff like this, you know, it's like, you know, mm -hmm. and that's a you know, bad time thing, you know, it's just, it's, you know, we, we can joke about it. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's comfortable. But the, at the time you told him you. You felt guilty. You felt bad. You felt. You know what? I didn't feel guilty. I just knew that it was necessary to be honest with him. And what were you crying about and telling him? Um, let's see. Well, actually, what had happened is I I wasn't originally. I didn't start out our conversation in that way. Mm. I started it out as in I think we need to revisit this. Uh, we talked about divorce, and that's when we kind of came to that conclusion that we're we're going to do that and mm -hmm. um, we're going to live together and, and we're going to figure it out. And so after all of that, I thought it's, it's necessary for me to let him know where this is. I mean, we're already in this emotional situation. Yeah. I wanted to yeah. give him that, you know, I didn't, I, I'm, I don't like secrets. I mean, right. I used to <laughs> hang on to them with everything I had, but right. I thought he deserves this much, you know, so I wanted to share that with him. And so I was already pretty emotional. Both of us were about, talking about divorce and then um, and then I just said there is something more you know I just I want to let you know that I I have found somebody and we're um, having feelings for each other but and we don't exactly know where to go from here and so I want you to know about that as well um, that's kind of how it all came about so you're gonna get divorced when don't know um, I have a number of a mediator that I'm going to call next week. I was going to this week and just never did. Yeah. I've been sick and I just put it off, but I have her number and so we'll get things started and I don't know how this goes. We've never done it before, so yeah. 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 I don't know First time for both of us. how, how long it takes. I don't know what the process yeah. will be like, but yeah, no, we got, we got to go address the fact we need to talk to our kids about that which is going to be the hardest part and she's trying right. to sing down seeing them down say mom and dad are not going to be married anymore but nothing's going to change uh -huh. in your life i mean we're still going to be in the same house and just for you know i'm, I'm actually living in the basement now i'm just like okay. sleeping downstairs in the basement okay so that's about the only thing that's changed really. a little bit of a sense of separation between the two yeah. of you that's no, been very recently yeah a week or two ago <laughs> Yeah. And um, do, uh, you said your uh, your seventeen year old daughter knows about you. But all the, of the kids do. Yeah, they all. Oh, they all oh, yeah, oh, we oh, told okay. them last November. Oh, I, so I don't know. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how much they you know understand it, exactly, the especially boys, the nine year old. You know, sure. Nine thirteen year old. I don't know what they you know. They understand about. It. I mean, I know Jake understands what you know gay means because he's come home before and saying his friends have, you know, said something like, "Well, that's gay," and he you know, he got upset about that right. because you know. It's, it's not gay. I don't know how much understanding he has. I know the youngest doesn't really. We asked him the other day, what, do you know what gay means? I don't know. But, you know, we've, right. we've ex explained exactly. it the best we could. Um, keep talking about that. I uh, just, you know, pray to be righteous enough that, you, you, know, that you, can, uh, you can overcome this. And it's just, you know, I think we both kind of just realized, no, this is not something to overcome. This is, this is who she is. This is, mm -hmm. uh, you know, God loves her. You know, no matter what. Well, what if somebody were to say, you've given up, given up, you've given up on, you know, on Jesus, on the atonement? Um, it's interesting because I feel it's just the opposite. <laughs> like, I, oh. I feel like um, I'm just finally grabbing a hold of what I'm meant to and just, I don't know, finally 
being willing to to be a whole person. I don't know. I don't feel that that's giving up at all. Mm-hmm. I, I do sometimes worry that, um, you know, what does that mean as far as my faith goes? But um, I just, I have a solid understanding of God's love for me. And there have been some actions that have not been acceptable in his eyes, but I don't think that has anything to do with being homosexual. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I, I have given up on the church, I suppose, uh, in a lot of ways. Um, <clears throat> but I also don't know that that's the answer for my life. I think, I think you can be spiritual and be in touch with the things that you're supposed to do in life to care for others and to serve and to love and um, and to just, you know, be a good family and teach our children. I, I think there's so much more to it than than going to church on Sunday, so. Mm-hmm. Well, I, yeah, I think a lot of people get lost in that, you know, it's like, and my opinion on that is I take a lot more of a different approach to it. It's like, I don't care what anyone else thinks. Really <laughs> yeah. care, really We're just done us. worrying. Right, that's good. Yeah. That's yeah. a great place to be. Yeah. I mean, it's, there's so many people out there who think that, you know, church and everything is, you know, you go to meetings, mm-hmm. you're done, you know, you, you've done it right. And that's what makes you yeah. favored, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with the people who go to church. I mean, I don't regret those years of going to church no. at all. Uh-huh. Um, you know, I think yeah. good things happen there. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think that any of those people are wrong by any means. But I've also but heard some of the most, some of the most acidic and just downright nasty things come out of you know the mouths of people who are supposed to be you know they're fine upstanding members of the church and who you know well just recently on Facebook I posted I reposted something about you know a tolerance and acceptance and a friend of mine the guy I used to work with who uh, moved down south uh, North Carolina South Carolina someplace down there yeah. mm-hmm. got on there and he just he was commenting on it and just spewing out the most uh, horrible just rude, hateful. hateful things, mm. you know, on, you know, commenting about my, you know, my, about my posting on this, and mm. it got to the point, I just told him, I called him, I called him a pretty bad man, I said, I, I, I called him a dick, I said, you're uh-huh. a dick, I'm going to, you I'm not following you anymore, I'm, you're being blocked, and it's, right, right. And he was it's, comparing it to bestiality, yeah, he's and, saying that homosexuality mm-hmm. is one step above bestiality, and just like, right, right. seriously, where my, did you might get as well this? marry a cow, I mean, you know, it's just, Wait, what? it's, re- yeah, Seriously. he's like, you might as well just marry an animal. There's just, there, there's no difference in all of this. And uh, my it's wrong only and civilization is going to fall apart because right. of this. He it's, guarantees uh, it. Yeah, I guarantee it. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the only thing that bothered me, because I know that there are hateful people who just don't understand, I get that. Mm, right. uh, I don't try to spend too much energy on no. it. The part that bothered me was that he, he put a link there to lds.org, mm. um, yeah. you know, to back him up. And I thought, well, that's. And I even said to him, I know the God that you are, uh, mm-hmm. you know, suggesting that you believe in, and he doesn't feel that way. Mm, yeah, that's, he does that's not feel said, that, that way, part, and, and I, he would not want you treating me this way. Is, you know, these people that are supposedly, you know, they say, you know, we're upstanding, we're, you know, we're righteous, they're self-righteous, and they're yeah. just, you know, if it doesn't fit their little narrow picture, and I don't want to come off sounding like I'm bashing the church, and I'm not right. bashing the well, it's the people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's not the church. It's not our church. It's not their church. It's the people. And mm-hmm. it's, you know, mm-hmm. you know, they're just they're narrow minded. They're saying, you know, this is our. You know, if you fall between these two lines, you're great. We like you. If you fall outside of the lines, you know, yeah. we don't know what to do with you. We don't know what to do with you. Yeah, there's the power of the social control. Yeah. So, uh, so what are you going to tell your kids with the divorce? Like, hmm. um, aside from the narrative yeah. of. You know, well, We'll once again, like I I told my daughter when I I mentioned earlier that I had written a letter to my brothers to explain, Hmm. you know, kind of come out to them and explain where I am in my life. And and I mentioned, because at that point we had kind of revisited it again, and and I mentioned that we'll probably, um, well, that we're considering divorce but that the kids don't know, so to please be respectful of that and mm-hmm. until it's time for us to talk to them. And, um, and my daughter found a copy of it, and she came out and approached me with it, and she was heartbroken, of course. And um, so I, I, I took her in my room and, and sat her down and just started explaining, and I think that this is kind of the way it'll go. I need to explain to them how... Um, how there's so much more 
living and loving to be done by both of us Mm -hmm. and we're holding each other back in that way and you know what everybody wants everybody wants for their children or for their parents or for the ones they love to be able to be the happiest that they can be you know and so I'll just explain it to them again that um, that we're not able to experience that remaining together and that um, and I hesitate really to even tell them that things won't be any different because we we did that when I told them I was gay you know nothing nothing is different but yet I'm not going to church anymore mm-hmm. you know so they right. see you if you can tell me and I'm not going I'm, I just take them I don't take the sacrament I've stopped right. wearing garments all that stuff so you can you can tell us that nothing will change when you divorce and we're still living together but yet you're both going to be dating girls you yeah. know or so nothing things will, will things will be different but um, I'm counting on the fact that since we're going to remain in the same home that we can keep things as close to as yeah mm-hmm. close to what yeah, they've experienced yeah. as be super disruptive right yeah. and I and hope and also just assure them that you know that everything we do is with their with them in mind you know we yeah. do you know if they weren't there if they were not part in this picture things would have been a lot different you That's know right. a long time ago a long time ago but yeah. You know, everything we do is, of course, with them in mind. You know, it's like, you know, that's how every, every move we make is how will this affect the kids? Right. There's a lot. It's that has every been, single time. That has been our number one concern before yeah. ourselves. Absolutely. Yeah. It seems like it still is, even with a divorce, like yeah. you're getting divorced so that you can hope, with the hope that you can better self actualize yeah. each other. But then, but then, you know, as a parent, you want to give an example of a, of a fully actualized adult right. as well. Like yeah. you were saying, sure. In a sense, you can argue that this is for the children as well to see you both right. possibly be even even happier and more engaged in life, right. which would be great examples for them. When I talked to my daughter about it a couple months ago, um, she said, well, I know that you think that that would be best for us sometimes. She said, but I really don't think it would be which would for us to be divorced. Uh-huh. And I said, well, I don't expect you to feel any differently. Nobody wants their parents to be divorced. I remember when Mm -hmm. my parents, um, they separated for a couple of years before they actually got divorced. I think I was probably 14 when my dad moved away. Mm -hmm. Um, It was for work. (laughs) And uh, and I never once, growing up, never once thought that they liked each other. In fact, most of the time Mm -hmm. I thought they hated each other. And I, before I even knew what divorce was, I remember just really thinking, I just want them apart. I don't want them to be together anymore. And then I just prayed all the time that they would just divorce. Mm -hmm. But the moment, and I was almost 17, the moment that my mom told me that, I went and kind of had a breakdown. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was excited, I was relieved, but yet, and I still haven't been able to, like, you just don't want your parents to do that. And I think my 13-year-old son, he's almost 14, um, he's, He's really frightened anytime the word divorce comes up or, you know, even talking mm-hmm. about other people. I mean, he's just, he okay, really gets panicked. and instability, yeah. yeah. Well, the only experience, I mean, you have experienced divorce in most cases is something negative. Like, really ugly. You know, like I said, my cousin whose, whose uh, husband was gay, and they are, they're nasty towards each other. It's, it's not a pretty thing. Very sad. sad. And, yeah, she, her and her, especially her mom, are just, they're just evil towards him. Yeah. And then, uh, like a lot of it is they blame it on you know on his orientation. It's like no, he's not. It's not because he's gay. It's because he's, he's a, a bastard. Jerk. Because yeah, he's, he's a bastard. bastard. <laughs> I mean, he's it has nothing to do with yeah. who he loves. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. yeah, it has nothing to do with his orientation. It has to do with him being who he is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, but they, you know, they look at that. That's their experience. They've seen that, and they see yeah. you know the uh, my uh, my cousin's daughter, who is just a year older than uh, my daughter. Mm-hmm. She her life has just been messed up, oh, and it's, you know because of the divorce. And I'm sure you know my kids look at that, and if they you know they mm-hmm. they probably take all these experiences of their friends, parents getting divorced, and you know other family right. members, and they're like, oh my gosh, this is not a good thing. This is going to be this is going to tear our family apart. So just don't use the divorce word. Yeah. You don't have to. Just say we're not going to be married anymore. Yeah. Because yeah. mommy and daddy, yeah, I'm sure you don't use those words. Mom and dad are not of the same sexual orientation. So we're just not going to be married anymore. Yeah. Well, you're getting divorced? That's not the word we're going to use. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> not at all what that is. Yeah. No, no, no. It's, not it's, it's worth it sometimes to change the yeah. semantics on people. Yeah, so that could be true. Want a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, that, it, that has been our number one concern, though, the whole time. Like, what, 
what is this going to do to them, and, and how can we do it so that they are the least amount damaged? Right. That's, yeah. our, that's our number one concern. Like I said, duplex. We don't know. Duplex. Really, that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. If dad was on one side, mom and the other kids could be wherever they wanted to be. I know a couple in Arizona that have done that for a lot of years now, because mm -hmm. um, it turned out they were both gay, you know, nice. homosexual. And so now that it sort of just grew out of a duplex into this sort of big complex. Yeah. You know, but it is two separate families, two separate yeah. Yeah. homes, but connected, and because they had about five kids together, yeah. and so it's all sort of a compound. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and it works. Yeah. Other people go, that's disgusting. Exactly. But well, yeah. we're always going to have people who don't understand yeah. some aspect. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the friend I was telling you about earlier. I think that she, she's just that way. She's like, you're going you're gonna to live there and let him provide for you and take care of your family and take care of it. And, and you get and to go play with your girlfriend, you know? I mean, but she's that... looking at it from the fact that, it's like, that, she's, that this is not my decision. I mean, right. I, I, I don't want to force her out. I do not want her to be destitute. I don't want her to have to, live, you know, yeah. be wanting for anything yeah. because, you know, I'm not, I'm not kicking her out. Yeah. And so, you know, it's, it's my choice. You know, we, we talked about this and she's like, wouldn't you, why, why do you do this? Like, because I can't uh -huh. do that to you. I cannot see you. Yeah. Being like that and living like that, I could not. I sure. couldn't force you to do that. It's just. It's it yeah. speaks to the deeper reality of your relationship that you yeah. guys have yeah. an actual relationship. It's not like a negotiation or a bargaining right. table. Mm -hmm. Or well, wait, you get to do this, but he he has to pay. Like, oh, that's right. not fair. Like, wait, what? Is, that's yeah. irrelevant. Everyone, concern. everyone looks at it from the point of. I'm sure they're going to. Sure, we'll hear this a lot too. Looking at it from her point, like, you're you know you're making him do this. No, she's not making me do anything. It's right. totally my choice. Exactly. Yeah. 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 There you go. <laughs> yeah, there we go.